Prime Suite Template Administration page displays the option of creating your own template from predefined note options or importing a template from the existing Greenway library set of templates. When I click Import, I will navigate to the Clinical Template Library. This library consists of folders on the left-hand side that represent specialties or disciplines. And within each folder, there is a ladder effect down to the specific types of templates that you're looking for. So if we look at dermatology, I can click the plus, click the plus again, and then click the plus for, for any of these sections. If I open up the problem section, I'm going to see the listed template options for problems for dermatology. And generally, uh, there are a lot to choose from. So you might want to preview the templates first. So if I look at the Acne New Problem template, if I click on the name, it's going to shift to the right and I'm going to be able to import it. But if I want to identify it as a possible template candidate for me to use versus just importing it, I'm going to click on the uh, icon right here on the left. And I'm going to be able to navigate through the template as if I were with a patient or as if I were uh, present during an encounter. Chief complaint, these are all of the sections under the section option that I can modify in the templates. The chief complaint is yellow, that means that that's where I am. Okay, I can click HPI. Again, we're just previewing. Okay, so history, the symptoms, moderate redness, pimples, and broken capillaries. This is the default phrase. If I choose not to have these options here, I don't have to. Okay, so mild broken capillaries, moderate bumps, whatever it is that I want to choose. So each one of these blue options represents a list that I have built or modified in the system that I can click through. There's, a, there's also an other option that allows you to either use a speech product or type in anything that is not on this list. Okay, the arrows represent each section that I can go through. And then right here, I will see whether this is a multiple select option list, meaning I can choose more than one option, or whether it's simply a select list, which is a mutually exclusive list, no or yes, up or down, etc. Okay, that's the HPI. The review of systems will present two options, actually three options, the templated review, of systems, which is what this acne new problem template represents, a comprehensive review of systems, which represents my favorite um, options that can ever be used. So this is my administrative review of systems. Or I can tell the system, look at my HPI because I've discussed all of these options in my HPI. If there's a physical exam, it will appear in this section. This template doesn't seem to have a physical exam, but I can build a physical exam inside it. My assessment page will have all of the diagnosis codes that I can choose or I, th I feel that are my favorite codes. If during the encounter these codes do not match, I can search for a new code. My plan will show me order options at the top if I want to display certain order favorites, medication favorites, instructions that I want to put in my note either as instructions to the patient or instructions for myself to remember to talk to the patient about certain items and then any correspondence that I might want to attach to this template if I want to send uh, referral letters after every visit okay I would attach templates to that section at the bottom called correspondence okay it looks like a good template so I X out of the preview and I want it so I click on it it moves to the right and then I continue with the same options just watch it, looking at templates, clicking on them when I want them over. There's a button below on the bottom right that says Start Import. So I'm going to import these templates. And then I'm going to decide whether I want to modify them or not. So now that they're in my root folder, these are my templates, only I can modify them. So if I double click on Acne New Problem, across the top are all of the sections that I looked at before that I could modify. So these are all of my modifications. 
This is the template name, description, and category for my ENM coding. Okay. If I go to Chief Complaint, I could just add more options or take away these options. If I go to the HPI, I'm going to see a lot of colors that represent the type of lists that I can build. So for example, symptoms. How severe are symptoms and what are patients' symptoms? These represent questions that you must answer or you should answer or delete during the encounter. So if I click on how severe are symptoms, I'm going to see the list. Mild, moderate, severe. What if they're extreme or I want to add something to this list? I can add an option called the extreme. I can either hit the plus or hit enter as long as I get it down to this section here. And then there's a button below called OK. Well, there's an OK button. And once you hit it, it saves that option. Okay, You can move the options up and down depending on import importance. You can also make a header. So if you wanted the word extreme to be a header, then you can make it a header. Okay? You can also make a default phrase. So in my preview, the moderate option came up automatically. That means that whoever built this template made it the automatic, like the default. So I can make any of these the default, or I can take all of the defaults off so that nothing shows up except for the question, how severe are symptoms? So let's do that. Take off the default, and I added extreme. Okay, what are patient symptoms? This is a multiple select, meaning that I can add more than one option at the point of encounter. So let's say that I take out a bunch of these, just so you can see the change. Redness, pimples, and pustules. I don't want any of them to be defaulted. And I'm going to add something called my other option. Hit the plus, hit OK. And now if I preview at the top, this looks familiar now. These are my sections to preview. There's my HPI, how severe are symptoms. There's my extreme option. And then there's my other option. Okay. So I go through the HPI and I do that. Other things you can do if you right click on these options, you can see the controls that are available. Date stamp, type stamps, durations, measurements, input box, which is a uh, a free text, multiple single select, you can bring in patient demographics so that your patient's name is always appearing in the HPI, okay, the date of birth, uh, past appointments, future appointments, which are handy, any of the history from the face sheet that you want to import, past medical, past surgical, etc. Or if you want to put a care provider's name during the visit check-in process, if the referring provider was put on the visit as a referring provider, that individual will show up in the template automatically. So it will pull information into the system. Okay, if I want a brand new sentence, I can click add a new sentence and I can type here and then I can add a list. So here is my list. So my, my list might be what is patient here for today. For example, I highlight that list or that, that phrase that I want to become a list. Once that highlight is there, I right click on the highlight and then I select my options. Single select. Remember, this is mutually exclusive. One, two, three, four. And I hit OK. And now that turns the specific color of the option that I chose. <clears throat> and if I preview that, you can see that. And I can type here what is patient here for today. That's most, mostly what you'll be editing will be in the HPI. Now in the review of systems, I can add things or take things away. I can add systems. So I can add the eyes. And I want to say for acne, I always ask about impaired vision and I always ask about um, eye pain. So if I click on the eye pain once, it turns into a negative, meaning the patient is denying it. Okay, And it's a default. It's an automatic default. So if I look at my preview and I look at eyes now, it's going to say denies impaired vision and denies eye pain or denies eye pain, denies impaired vision. It'll go in this order. Click my T, denies eye pain, denies impaired vision, like I said, okay? You can also edit options for each of the sections, constitutional, I can add things to this list, I can take things away. Physical exam was blank, just know that uh, the Prime Suite templates allow you to have uh, templated favorites, so to, so to speak, for um, 
for physical exams. So you could have a library of physical exams to choose from at any point. It doesn't matter what the patient's here for. You can choose your physical exam. Assessments, I've got an ICD-9 category here with some favorite folders. Some of these come preloaded, okay? And some of them you have to add. So I have a skin uh, section here and I can go through this list and I can find whatever it is that I want to add to the template. By clicking on it on the left, it adds it to the right. And I can move the diagnoses to my most common diagnoses up and down here. Remember, you're templating this for future use. In my plan section, I can add orders if I want to send a patient out for a referral or I want to send the patient out for a specific uh, kind of treatment. I can also add medications. To, now remember, these are just templated favorites. You can always add whatever medication you want at the point of care. Okay. I can add my, uh, my instructions here so that I just click when I'm at the point of care uh, and then that instruction will be printable in a patient's order requisition or in any material that I give the patient. Okay, when I'm done with the template, I give it a save option. If you, hit, if you hit save as, you can create a secondary version of this template. So if I want to keep the acne new problem template, but I want, to, I want to save a new one that's called mine, do not use, and I hit save, now I have two templates. I haven't gotten rid of the old one. I've just saved it with a new name. Once I X out of my template view, you're going to see all of your templates here which you can eventually, when you have um, a panoply of them here, you can add a folder and put them in your folders. And now I'm going to move this acne new problem. I'm going to right click and move it and then right click on the folder that it's going to and click place template in this folder. And now my templates have folders.